guys! Thanks for coming to my channel. Um, these days, not a lot is new. Last week was Oban. We didn't do very much because of the virus. Um, kind of waiting for Japan to let foreigners back in the country. So when the virus started, Japan said no foreigners are allowed to come into the country. And this included long-term residents. So, which is incredibly unfair on Japan's part. Japanese citizens are allowed to leave and come back so long as they take a PCR test at the airport, that's the coronavirus test, take a PCR test at the airport and quarantine for 14 days after they come back. Now if you're a foreign resident, if you leave, at first it was if you leave you can't come back, which had left a lot of people who were who had left before the shutdown weren't allowed back in the country so people were trapped they couldn't go visit their families that were dying they couldn't come back and pay their rent people were losing their jobs it was a mess the government then changed it so that you could come back if you had left before the shutdown or you had specific permission on humanitarian reasons so a family member was dying you needed medical assistance that you couldn't get in Japan. If you got that special permission, you could leave and maybe come back if you had a negative PCR test 72 hours before your flight to Japan. And then you pass another PCR test in the airport and you quarantine for 14 days when you come back. Though that requirement for long-term residents and the requirement for Japanese citizens very different. Two very different requirements. So the Japanese government recently announced they're going to rethink their policy and we're hoping that all long-term residents of Japan are going to be able to leave and return with the same rules as Japanese citizens get. The situation's always changing and I might have got some a little bit of that information wrong so if I did I'm sorry but right now I think that's what's going on. So um, that's where things are right now. On a happier note, I have one thing to tell you about. Every now and then, like, I've been living here for five years now, and kind of gotten used to it, of course, and you kind of, sometimes you kind of forget that you're living in Japan. Not forget, but you get, you know, you go, you get accustomed to it. Nothing's new anymore. But every now and then, something happens that makes you think, right, I'm living in Japan. This is not what I grew up with. So it happened to me today. I came home from work today and I checked the mail and there was a box in the mailbox addressed to me, not to my husband, to me, which is unusual. Um, it was from my insurance company. So I have a um, private insurance company because I no longer work full time at a company. So I don't have insurance with the company. I have a private insurance company. I got this box and I opened it up and there's a letter with, before I opened the box, there was a letter. And I couldn't really read all the letter, but I used Google Translate and it said that I had won a prize from my life insurance company. Like there was a lottery that I entered when I signed up that I was not aware of. I was like, that's pretty cool. And this is, you know, like kind of a heavy box. Like it's got some weight to it. So I was like, oh my gosh, what did I win? Like. Maybe it's worth something. Maybe it's actually a really good prize. So I opened up the box. My heart's beating fast. And inside, rice. I won rice from my insurance company. 300 grams of rice. I was like, only in Japan. Maybe not only in Japan. Maybe in some other Asian countries. But this would not happen in Canada. I won rice. It was so funny. I mean, it's probably good rice. I don't know. The other thing I want to do today is I have two different vegan foods that you can buy at convenience stores here in Japan. So when borders open up again and you're able to travel, if you want vegan food, you can get it quite easily at convenience stores. So here's two of my go-tos. From I went to 7-Eleven today. You see it? It says here in English, 
salted rice ball. This is currently vegan. If you want to make sure what you're buying at the convenience store is vegan and you can't read the ingredients on the back, I'm rep recommending a website called Is It Vegan Japan? And they do the amazing work of calling different companies and finding out if their food is vegan or not. Japanese labeling rules are a little bit weird. So sometimes they might have a whole list of ingredients and at the bottom they'll say other. And in that other, there might be fish. If you're allergic to fish, that's a huge problem. So I really recommend the website, Is It Vegan Japan? They have listed this on their website as vegan. But 7-Eleven has said they have the right to change the ingredients whenever they'd like, so it might not always be vegan. But right now it's vegan. So I recommend this. It's just a salted rice ball. I think they have a couple other kinds of rice balls that are vegan. Probably the umeboshi one, and maybe one that has seaweed in the middle. But I don't like umeboshi or seaweed, so this is my go-to. The other one that I love because I love chocolate. Can you see that? So this chocolate bar is vegan. You can get it at almost any convenience store, usually. I've never had a problem finding it when I want it. It's not usually in the store with the other chocolate bars. It's usually with the healthier bars. So like your soy joy and your protein bars, that's where you'll usually find this guy. But if you check on Is It Vegan Japan, you will see that this is listed as vegan and it's delicious and totally cheap and easy to find, which is perfect and exactly what we need. There are two different varieties, only one kind is vegan and it's this one, the black wrapper with the red on the side. I think the other one is like a lighter color packaging. It is not vegan. It's probably vegetarian, but it's not vegan. That's it. That's all I have to say today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'd love if you could subscribe. That'd be really cool. Okay, see you next time. Bye. So good. Also, 7-Eleven has stopped using plastic on most of their rice balls, which is amazing. They now use this, like, what does it say? Botanical film and rice ink. So, better for the environment. Good job, 7-Eleven. Plus, it's delicious. Mmm. Ooh. Ah. Ooh.